Yeah, well guys, into the story, we're going to create a cooldown for our button because right now, whenever he stops being active, he goes back to being ready to being active again. So we're going to create a cooldown for it. So let's go to the script and create here near the active time a public float called CD time or charging time. And I'm going to make it a value, some value. I'm going to put two. Okay, and let's think. Now, whenever, whenever the counter is greater than the active time, meaning whenever the this whole thing has went into here, instead of making it go into the ready state, we want it to make it go to the charging state. So let's put here charging. And as you can see, we have an if clause for active and if clause for act for ready. And now let's create an if clause for charging. So if status equals state dot charging, then we want to do what we want to do. First, I need I want the counter to be at zero right here. So whenever we make it go charging I also want to make the time the counter to be back to being zero like so and here just like we did in here I want the counter to be increased with the time just like we did it and I I want the bar to be instead of being instead of being blue I want it to turn gray so circle dot color equals color dot gray and the timer is going up and I want to change the circle with the timer so circle dot fill amount and I want the amount to be equal to just like we did with the active time but now we don't we don't need the one minus because I want the 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 bar to be increasing so I'm going to put counter divided by the charging time which is the time until we can also we can click the button again like so and of course we need to check whenever it, the whenever the counter has reached the charging time so if the counter is greater or equal to the charging time I want what do I want to do? I want the status to go back to ready. So status equals state dot ready, meaning that you can uh, click the button again. And oh, and by the way, here in ready, uh, remember, remember that we set the color here for gray. We want it to set back. It, so we want to set the color back to blue whenever we go to ready. So circle dot color equals blue color dot blue like so and right now let me show you what we did so the bar is filled up if I click we are on like that and as you can see now this is a cooldown time where we the effect uh, remember that we made it go change this max finger over here and right now it's at two if I click it goes to three when it ends it goes to two and then we can only go make it go back to three after the cooldown is has ended and I'm going to actually make that cooldown a bit bigger so here in the circle button circular button in the child button I'm going to make the cooldown be like 10 seconds so now we have to wait 10 seconds until we can use the button again so the button is active and the button is inactive and you have to wait 10 seconds and for you can, but if you close again and then open it again you don't have to wait 10 seconds no more and we are going to now we're going to fix this issue so let's get started and basically what we want to do is if we are on the charging status we want to save the counter so we can create here a variable so we're going to use the player preferences so player preferences dot set and the counter is a float so set float uh, 
and we can name this can name this say upgrade counter and you want to make this equal to the counter because the counter is basically what is changing and whenever and we also want to set the float to be equal to zero whenever the charging time has ended so here we want to set that to be equal to zero again meaning that because if the status is ready then the counter is zero so this is just like putting this in here and now I want to load and what I'm going to do is to check if the this the upgrade counter is zero or not so in the start function if player preps dot and want to get the float called upgrade counter right upgrade counter I think that's it let me see if this float is different from zero meaning the game was closed when we are on cooldown if it is well then I want the status to be equal status to be equal to the state dot charging and I want the counter to be equal to the upgrade counter right, like this and now let me show you that it's working fine so right now if I to play it's all working fine and it's like this and now it's loading back and I pause and now we're the last time that we entered the game the counter was like here so if I play you'll see that it starts there and goes back up and which means that this is going this is working correctly uh, now there's one small thing that's happening right now which is if I click in here and then I close it as you can see it's in the active state and now if I play it goes back to being fully active so we want to make it away so that if the player closes the game whenever it's in this state it goes back to being charged because you know it's like a, a punishment for just waste, wasting some some of that so all I have to do is that is also here in the update time so all you have to do is in here when the status is active want to check want to set this flow to be equal to the counter and I want to actually make it a flag minus so that we check if the, the if this value so we're going so now instead of just checking if this def value is different from zero, we're going to check if it's less or, or more than zero. If this value is smaller than zero, it means that we were on this state. So instead of doing this, we're going to make the counter we're going to make it go to the to the charging state and make the counter equal zero. Else if it's greater than zero if this is greater than zero greater than zero it means that we were on the charging state when we closed the game so what we're going to do is exactly what, we, what it was here so oh, I forgot uh, zero which was put it on the state on the charging state and call this and make the counter be equal to whatever the counter was when we saved else else just be ready like it was before so save and if I play you'll see that this works correctly okay it's filled up and I click and I stop and now it should be and now remember this because it was on the active state the upgrade counter was a negative value and if it is a negative value I want to check and I want to make it charging and I want to set it to go to the charging state so if I play you'll see that it starts charging it's basically a punishment and that's basically it uh, anyways thank you for watching this tutorial guys and see you in the next one